Good morning, Grayson. Do you want to say hello? Say hello. No. I don't say hi shy. for the camera. Yesterday was Mother's Day. And it was awesome. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we have another creature on our kitchen counter, you'll be alerted you to it. want a peanut? Probably no. No, but he's because a little he's nervous. like, what's going on here? Oh, okay. All right. No. Yeah, he's like, I thank you. He's I, like, I eat in my cage. I told you that, yes, I have acknowledged it, but that's it. So good morning. This is Grayson. For a lot of our new subscribers who don't know, we have an African gray parrot. Among other pets. He is 10 years old, right? Yeah. I believe he's 10 years old at this point. Yeah. He doesn't like to talk in front of people and he's acknowledging the camera is people. Yes. Yes. So he gets a little bit like shaky in front of people. He, uh, he really likes our patio and living in our screens, you know, porch back there. Right. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know if he's, he's probably going to be like anything that you're trying to have me do on camera. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find a flower cause he likes flowers. He does but... like flowers, but you're assaulting my mother's day flowers. Yeah. Cause Anthony got you flowers. I know. It's so nice. And normally I'm not a big flower person, but you know how it is. It's something precious when your kiddos get you flowers. It's just like, oh. so awesome. yesterday we, we went to church and then we went out to dinner with all the kids. How fun was that? It was really a lot of fun. You know, Mother's Day is like the biggest restaurant holiday of the year. So, so we, we made reservations. Yeah, we didn't want to take a chance. And it was very busy, but I have they to say... They said there were two and a half hour waits for people who were trying to walk in when we got there. I believe it, because it was pretty packed. But something that's nice about the, the Brazilian steakhouse is the food is coming around to you. You know, a lot right. of times... We usually choose a buffet of some sort when we go on a family outing. We've kind of always done that just because we know everybody will get as much as they want of whatever they want. That's right. what kind of I like about a buffet, right. you know, because it feels almost like a mother's kitchen, right? You want everybody to get what they want and you want them to have enough of it. So we always like buffets. But what is really nice about a, a Brazilian steakhouse is all the food is coming around to you. So right. you're not having to constantly be out in the crowd if you don't want to, yeah. which is really, really nice. It was really good. And, you know, it's funny because the boys, John Paul had never been to a Brazilian steakhouse. Yeah, that was fun. I don't even know if Caleb has been mm -hmm. to one. Uh, but I know yeah. Anthony knows because Anthony had gone uh, with Sarah last week and or a couple weeks ago. So he knew what he was looking for. Yes. Caleb sat down and he was like, they, the guy brought bread and it was weird for us to have bread on the table. Well, we like, want to have whatever the kids wanted. So the guy brings the bread and the bananas and the mashed potatoes and it's not a trigger for me. So I'm completely fine. And Anthony starts eating a piece of bread because he's a bread connoisseur. Yeah. He makes a lot of his own. And he starts eating piece, like, pieces and Caleb's like, that's just a distraction. He knew. That's their way to distract you yep. from eating all of the meat. He was like, don't fall for it, brother. Don't right. fall for it. And, you know, Anthony went up and got some shrimp and some salmon off the off of the salad bar. And Caleb's like, another distraction. But that, I was distracted by it as well. I wasn't anticipating they were going to have such nice salmon there. And I'm a salmon fan. Like, I'm a friend of salmon. Hey, salmon costs as much as beef, if yeah. not more than beef. So, a it's lot a of really time, nice so. treat, and the shrimp, too. But, like, I noticed that all of the kids did what I did. You know, the shrimp is in, like, a sauce, so you know, a sauce, like a vinaigrette type thing with, like, different vegetables. And everybody just picked out the shrimp. Yeah. Left all the vegetables. So I was like, all right, that they, they eat the way we do. So and, it was really fun. And I did eat a lot of cheese, and, and my stomach is a little bloated from it today, but that's okay. But I, one of the best things, aside, from, well, the best thing was just all four of our kids 
sitting down, enjoying themselves. That was really, really nice. But what was really fun was we got our money's worth out of that one. I think they were ready to close down after Anthony we, left. We were there for about two hours, yeah. which was really, and really Anthony nice. Anthony ate the entire time. I think he ate like an entire side of beef by himself. It was so good. I, I, I love that they enjoyed themselves. But my favorite part of Mother's Day was that even after... We got finished with dinner. I figured everybody's going to go their separate ways. You know, everybody's got like, you know, friends to hang out with and places to go. Well, they did have friends to hang out with. They brought them back to our house and we got to have more time with them. Yeah. So like that was just so precious that everybody came back to the house and then brought more young people yeah. with them. And so it just made for such, just such a blessing. It made for a late night because they were all here till about Giggling, midnight. But, but it was like, you know what? We're going to be empty nesters soon, yes. so how long do you have before Cherish. the laughter of your 20-year-olds oh, disappears? So, it was like, it was music to my ears. It was a perfect Mother's Day. So if you have younger children than we do, take our advice and cherish all of that laughter, all of the giggles, all the noise that comes with life yeah. and children because it is just such a precious thing. So I wanted to talk about something real quick before you get in the shower because we have keto on the couch. Mm -hmm. And then I have a tooth extraction, which I just realized my lower dentures aren't in, so I'm sorry, but it's oh. early. Um, so I was going through Facebook this morning in our Facebook family group, and somebody made a post that they really want to do beef, butter, bacon, and egg, but they're nervous, and there was a couple of problems. So I just wanted to give some suggestions for it. All right. And their their number one problem was they don't like eggs. They don't like eggs unless they put cheese and all of that kind of stuff okay. on there. And to deal with that, I'm going to say then just don't eat eggs, okay? Yeah. You really don't want to start adding cheese and all that stuff on beef, butter, bacon, and eggs because the whole idea of beef, butter, bacon, and eggs is to eliminate stuff that could possibly be causing inflammation, and cheese and dairy is one of them. Yes, you're allowed butter, but butter is not the same dairy right. as all of the other dairies, like heavy whipping cream and all that stuff, because it's mostly fat. It's got a little bit of milk protein in there, but it is mostly fat, and so that's why butter is okay. It's a good saturated fat for you. But then the other issue she had was um, they don't have a lot of money. So they don't have an expensive smoker. They yeah. have an Instant Pot, I think a Crock Pot, Instant and some frying pan. Oh, that's And she's like, great. we can't afford all of the expensive cuts of beef like we did on the original Beef Butter, Bacon, and Eggs. But we did Beef Butter, Bacon, and Egg 2.0 in January. Yeah. And in that one, we did not use our smokers and stuff. No. Intentionally, we wanted to show you how you can cook meat without a smoker. I actually think that budget wise, having an Instapot and a crock pot is pu putting you in the best position. Like if you're budget conscious about meat, like you want to have an Instapot and a crock pot because you can buy Cheap cuts cheaper of cuts of meat and you can really make them, first of all, they, they you, you cook a big pot roast or something and it goes for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. You cook a steak, that's a meal. You cook a pot roast, that's several meals, right? right. And it breaks down those uh, tougher cuts of meat, right? Yeah. So here's my suggestions. If you want to do beef, butter, bacon, and egg, but you, you can't afford a bunch of steaks, yeah. like, hey, I mean, we do a lot of like beef, but we we only have X amount of steaks from our cow, so yes. we kind of cherish them still. They're treats for us. What we have is a lot of roasts, and roasts are cheap. Yeah. So what you number one, you can do a ground beef, and I know she said she she feels like ground beef is going to get boring, but it honestly isn't. And you can take ground beef, turn it into hamburgers or meatloaf with just meat and a little bit of seasoning to so just kind of cook up the ground beef a little bit differently. Right. Um, I know she said she doesn't like eggs unless she mixes it in with a lot of things. If you mix it with hamburger. Yes, that's what I was going to say. So cook your ground beef in a pan and just what you do is when your ground beef is like 95% of the way cut, uh, cooked, scramble up your eggs, just like a couple of them. And while you're like cooking the ground beef, 
add the egg in there slowly, kind of like they do fried rice at a Chinese restaurant. Yes, exactly. And that's another way to get some more protein, all of the nutrients from the eggs into your ground beef without tasting the eggs. But then you can do cheap roasts, like bottom round roasts and stuff. You're talking about roasts that are like $5 a pound if you go to BJ's or Costco. Even if you go to Aldi, a lot of times you'll find stuff in the special meat section. That's where we go. Right. And all of that could be cooked in the Instant Pot. You can cook it in, you know, a slow cooker. You can cube it up. Uh, you can buy a pork belly. Pork belly. You can get it for 2 to $4 a pound. And just the way we cook it in a smoker where we have like cook a pork belly or smoke a pork belly like a brisket, you can do that in the oven. Yes. So you're going to just put it at 300 degrees. Okay. Put your salt and stuff on top, 300 degrees, fat side up. You're going to go to an internal temperature of 165 degrees. And then again, make a foil boat, put it back in there till you can take a probe and stick it through like butter. You won't have the smoky flavor, but you will have a really delicious piece of pork belly. And then you can put some like Redmond smoked salt or just regular salt to give it some more flavor afterwards. Well, and I, I have to recommend this too. Anytime you're doing a challenge where you're, you're, you're going to be like doing some eliminating of food that, that you normally would eat, okay? It is a challenge and you have to get into a certain mindset, right? right? I think that sometimes we have to stop asking our food to entertain us. Yeah. We use food as like an entertainment. So when there are foods that we can't eat, it's like, I'm going to be bored. Mm -hmm. So if you know that, hey, if I'm not going to have a variety of color on my plate, if I'm not going to have a variety of options in my refrigerator and I'm going to keep it simple, then I need to look for variety someplace else, right? So someplace like in what I'm doing. This would be a great time to say like, hey, this month, um, life needs to be exciting. So we're gonna play some board games we don't normally play. We're gonna go so to some local parks that we don't normally visit. And we're gonna eat that hamburger in a picnic setting because that is different. Right. And that is really entertaining. Maybe, you know, budget some time for yourself to watch a, a fun movie that, that you would like, right? right? So we're looking for entertainment in places where entertainment should come instead of relying on our food so much to, to give us joy because yeah. it's never going to give us joy. Food is, if we're doing this correctly, is going to help give us fuel. It's going to help um, feed our, our muscles and our organs. It's going to give us health, but it's not going to give us joy. That That's exterior. Yeah, and I'm going to leave you with this. First of all, figure out why are you doing beef, butter, bacon, egg? Are right. you doing it for health purposes and to really get yourself on track and to really heal your body? Then not to sound mean, but how bad do you want it? Right. So I am here at the dentist and I'm a little nervous about this one. So what we're doing is we're pulling out this tooth up here and we have a partial removable denture that's gonna go in to cover the gaps over here and this tooth coming out. But if there's a problem with that partial, uh, it's a problem, but we won't know if there's a problem with the partial until this tooth comes out. So I'm really, really nervous about this one because if we pull the tooth out and then there's a problem with the partial, I don't have a tooth. So I'm really hoping that this goes well. I've, I've never, I mean, I don't like going to the dentist. I never have. Uh, but this is probably the most nervous I have ever been going to the dentist. Well, do you have some teeth? I have teeth, but I'm not like really happy. Because <laughs> it's like not permanent? Um, it, it took a lot of adjustment. It didn't fit. After she pulled the tooth, I'm like, oh no. And it hurt and it hurt and it hurt. But she's like, one of the places it's hurting, it hurts when it goes in. Okay. But she's like, that's because I left bone. Mm -hmm. for where you're going to eventually get the, you know, the implants. And she's like, I don't want to take that bone out because I need it for the implant. Yeah. So it's going to hurt every time we go in. Uh, so I do have teeth. Wow. Those look fantastic. But what I'm really disappointed with is the tooth that got extracted. Is it too it's low? It's shorter. Or too sh oh, okay. I see it's shorter. But it's that's a lot not, shorter. But that's not... 
permanent forever. It's no, a while. It's gonna be it's, a while. It's a while and it I'm just not happy with it, but it's because the teeth on the bottom still need to be done. Uh -huh. So, but I have to go back tomorrow to make sure there's no irritation. Because this was all, again... It's going to take you some time to get used to talking, too. Yeah, because this is a completely different, Sound like, like partial. Sound like a a little bit. And that's what it's like. So, it's a different partial than what I had before. It's a different material. So, it's going to affect taste. And all I have to say is... If this is what it would be like to have dentures, you're really glad you didn't I'm go that glad route. I'm glad I didn't go that route and pull teeth because, like, it affects your taste and everything. Mm -hmm. So, but now I'm gonna sound really funny because, yeah, I feel like there's just this big piece of plastic in the roof of my mouth. See, I salt even the things I cook. <laughs> no need to be insulted. That looks good. Yes, I'm so sorry that you're having to drink something. I'm I'm hurting. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I never usually hurt from extractions, but, ow, <laughs> ow. It hurts. The problem is the extraction is below the partial. Okay. And she wants me to keep the partial in so that the swelling and stuff doesn't affect it because she's like, if you take it out, it's going to be swollen. You may not be able to get it back in. And then you've got that tooth there. So it's kind of like keep it in there to kind of make everything form correctly. It's kind of like when you get a retainer yeah. and you're, 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 or braces or something, it's doing a job to have your, your teeth and your jaw like line up with what they're trying to accomplish, but it's painful. Yeah. And then, the thing is, is that every time I like try to swallow or like move my mouth too much, you just feel pressure like on the incision, like oh, right because it's right below that the too. Fly in the house. So like she said, I can use a straw mm -hmm. because I don't have to worry about like like a deep socket, right? Because the retainer is covering it. But even that hurts. Mm. So yeah, I was even. I don't even think I can eat eggs right now. Maybe in the morning I'll be able to eat eggs. So right now I'm just gonna try to have a keto chow, Thanks, but keto chow. even that kind of hurts a little bit. But at least at least we have this option. Yeah, because what happens is when I go to swallow, the teeth hit, yeah. or I'm sucking up like on the retainer and it just presses on it. So I didn't on the retainer on the the partial. I didn't make Joe have to cook for me today, so we just kept it super simple. I've got two burgers of my favorite type of burger, the one that has like the bacon and cheddar inside of it, topped with two pieces of bacon fried up on top of it, and then I put some kimchi and guacamole, which I don't know, it's a strange combination. It is a probably, strange combination, but it's delicious. I'm having pistachio keto chow with uh, four tablespoons of butter and then water. And it's kind of warm because I wasn't really planning on making keto chow today. I really thought I'd be able to eat eggs or something. Right. But I just can't, it hurts too much. And I didn't have any bunch of keto chow prepared like we normally do because we're going away. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to make a bunch of keto chows and then have them go to waste. Right. So I'm just drinking it warm, which is, it's fine warm. So I made up three of them. Stuck them in the refrigerator so I, if I can't, I maybe I'll try to have one either later or I'll have one in the morning. And then if I'm up to it, I'll probably have like a creamy ice cream or something like that later on or in a little while. Also, I'm really cold. I'm like really cold. Look, I'm wearing a hoodie. Mm -hmm. It's like 95 degrees outside, but I'm really, really cold. And it's I, don't, I think it's because the Novocaine, she needed a lot of Novocaine. To get that tooth out. And it was, the tooth came out actually very easy. She said it came out much easier than she thought it was going to, mm -hmm. but it wasn't as deep as she thought it was going to be. So we could not do the implant today. So it's six months to the implant and then six more months for the tooth. But... So she said it came out, but it's because it's a front tooth. She said, that's just a really sensitive area. So like my, I was numbed up. My nose was numb. And then she when you came up, when you came home, your lip and like that, dipped weird. And that was after the Novocaine was already wearing off because after she pulled it, I was really numb. And then we spent over an hour trying to get the partial to fit correctly and we won't even know for sure how it is until like the numbing, the swelling goes down because she said she's going to call the lab and say, I've never had to modify one as much as I did this one. So if it's bad, like oh. I'm going to be like, I I want a new one made. Yeah. 
Um, but we spent so long on that, the Novocaine started wearing off. And we why, still had to why? do the bone graft. So now as it's wearing off, she's poking and prodding and she's like, she gave me one more and she's like, do you want more? I'm like, no, because then I'm going to be numb forever. Right. Just, I'm going to work through the pain. Oh. But inside of those injections, inside of the roof of your mouth, oh my gosh, I like almost went through the ceiling. I don't want to talk about it too much because I have a cleaning tomorrow. I have a follow-up at the same time you have your cleaning. Okay. So, um, maybe we'll just end this with, like, coffee in the morning. Okay. Because, like, I'm just kind of starting to feel out of it. And I'm probably going to take uh, some Motrin. She did give me a prescription for Motrin. We're and, again, I don't like to do that because I don't like the way it feels. Today but Today is the day. But today, I'm just like, this is worse than most of the other ones I've had. When Joe says I'm in pain, we, we, we go ahead and we give him the Motrin. I'm in so much pain. I am so sorry, baby. Anne's morning came earlier than normal, I think. Yeah, I don't know why we're up at 5.30 in the morning. Just so so much to do. Got to get ahead of it. So, so, it's not just the extraction. I don't like this partial. Mm. It's not what I was expecting. I was expecting a flex partial, but she said we can't do a flex partial for what they call... An immediate, an immediate is an extraction and the partial all at the same point, yeah. as opposed to an extraction like we did the other time, wait six months and then get the partial. So she's like, you can't do that. So now I talk funny and like, I can't taste anything because there's this entire thing covering the roof of my mouth. So everything is weird and then it's rubbing me wrong and I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. Like, I'm going back in today at 2 o'clock. And you have an appointment today at 2 o'clock, I do. Teeth cleaning. It's about time. And, yeah. And I'm going to tell her, like, we've got to do something. We've got to adjust it because it's, it's causing an ulcer up on the side. And, and I want to eat. And I can't eat anything. And I, as much as I love you, cannot let your pain kind of like derail what I'm trying to do for myself. Cause I think a lot of times it's like, I can't fix this. So is there anything around me that I can control? And I have in the past when, when the kids aren't feeling well or something is going wrong, something's going on wrong in, in business that I can't fix. Right. If I can't help you in your job, then I need to help myself to something that is off plan. And it's not helping you, and then it's not helping me either. But it's not helping you also because I'm going to make myself sick, right? Right, and that is not that is not good. If if you're not feeling well, and then instead of being there to have like some cold compresses ready or rub your back, I am tending to my stomach or in the bathroom, right? So the best thing that I can do is stay at your side and not stay at the refrigerator side. Does that make sense, right? right. Like, there's no comfort I can provide to that refrigerator. What I'm really upset about is the fact, I'm just thinking that, like, I feel like this on Monday, and then every time I even press, it hurts here, so I can't bite anything. And, like, we're going out to Texas Day Brazil on Thursday. Like, am I going to be able to eat? Right. Like, that's, that's the big thing, is, like, is this going to heal enough that I can eat? Because I'm going to be really miserable if we're going to Texas Day Brazil. And number one, I have to pay and I can't eat. But number two, to just look at the food and not be able to really chew it and enjoy it. I think that um, you have to keep in your mind what is the real goal of what you're doing. Because again, yes, you can go into it and be like, the totality of my enjoyment has to do with what's on my plate. Mm -hmm. And yet you have been looking forward to this for months, not because you were going to get to eat at Texas Day Brazil, but because you were going to get to see people oh, I know. in our Facebook family. So like, it's kind of like we narrow it down to, I'm not going to have a good time if they don't serve the thing that I want at the party. They're not, I'm not going to have a good time if we go into a place where I may be triggered by something. But the truth is, as much as you're in, in pain, and I'm not like trying to take away from that, 
The truth is you're going to have fun no matter what because you know that you're going to get to see people that you love. And then what we're hoping for is bonus joy, which is, and I hope the, the food is great. Right. Right. Because sometimes I have gone into a place um, when we went to uh, Texas Day Brazil for Mother's Day. There was a couple of times where the cut of meat I like was not cooked to the perfect that mm. it's normally cooked to because it was a different circumstance in Mother's Day. They had so many more people to feed. It was the, the meat. Well, for you, it was good. It was it was rarer than normal. Well, even I some did of not it was, like it Some of it was rare. really rare. Some of it I did not even want that rare. Like it was like beef tartar level, you know? Right. So for me, it was like, is this not as fun because the meat is not cooked perfectly. Till you look around the table. Till you look around the table. So look around the table right. is probably the message for you to maintain positivity even in this season. Yeah. Well, the good news is, is we've talked about doing a fast. So <laughs> Right, there you go. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to be able to eat probably today either. Well, so I probably... I'm just going to do like a... Like a you know, 48 hour fast or whatever. Just, you know, I'm not super strict. Like I'll drink coffee or something like that. And, you know, I may even have a keto child, but there's definitely not going to be a whole bunch of eating and stuff. I'm just, I'm not, I don't even have the appetite for it. Well, I have, I have Zilcho time this, this morning and I have meeting and meeting and meeting. And then I have dentist appointment and they're not going to get me in to like do like the cleaning part of it until probably like four or five o'clock. Right. So with that schedule, and then also it's supposed to be like a deep cleaning. So who knows right. how I will feel about eating. So probably I'm going to be in that fast with you if it makes you feel any better. Well, that's going to be the end of this video. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we've linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here whether you head this way or you head this way don't forget to head this way subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we have coffee you'll be alerted to it till next time bye, bye.